Sunshine's Quality Assured Collisions Weekly Bites is sponsored by Sunshine's Quality Assured Collision. Hey everyone, welcome back to the show. It is time for some delicious food. Absolutely, our next guest joining us from Edible at the Market, uh, Jennifer Dodd. She said we could call her Jan or Jennifer, <laughs> Jay Dodd. I like to hi Jennifer, how are you? How are you? Good, how are you? So Good. tell us about Edible. Uh, so we just opened Canada Day of 2011 um, in the middle of summer. So it's a bistro located on Granville Island. It also has a retail store attached yeah. to it where we sell a lot of yummy products from all over Canada. Lots of delicacies. Yeah. Really cool idea. Uh, let's talk about what we're making today. What are we, what are we going to be doing? Uh, so this is one of our dishes during Dine Out Vancouver. Yeah. Uh, so it's a seared ahi tuna. Uh, we use... Mushrooms, uh, so we have a blend of dried mushrooms. Uh, so it's uh, chanterelles, there's lobster mushrooms, there's also some morels in there. So this is a great blend that you can pick up so it's uh, handy in the kitchen for cooking rather than having to run out and find different kinds of mushrooms. Yeah, exactly. You Good can stuff. Just rehydrate them. Yeah, yeah, it's nice because you can keep it in your pantry, right? And, and <laughs> so do you just soak them first? Is that what you do? Um, with this one, it's dried. So okay. we take the mushrooms and blend them also with this slick spice here, which has about 17 different ingredients. So. <laughs> Uh, there's mustard seeds, there's a few different types of peppercorns, there's some rosemary. Nice. Um, so it's already in there. Yeah. So do you guys always do that, that incorporation between what's available on the retail side and, and what you guys are actually using in the... Well, the, the Edible Canada started as the retail store, so as we were building the restaurant, we had a lot of products right. to choose from in the store, so we just sort of well shop use all the time. It's a brilliant and idea. It's a mean, great idea. So where nice. do we start here with the tuna? Uh, so first we will crust it, so it's our dried mushrooms that we have uh, blended in a coffee grinder. Right. Uh, so we'll just coat our lovely albacore tuna uh, with that and a little salt here. Yeah. Um, and we've also have our ooh, lovely oil. Uh, Is and that this one? this one? It looks delicious. Yes, yeah, so it's uh, from Summerland, BC, from Okanagan Vinegar Brewery Company. So this yeah. is a canola olive oil. Yeah. And does that give it a, like a higher smoke point so you can actually cook with it? Because olive oil obviously is pretty sensitive for the most part. Yeah, so it, it, it does have quite a high smoking point, just like olive oil. Yeah. Um, but it has a bit of the vegetable in there as mm -hmm. well, nice. so it doesn't... Uh, Beautiful, and you guys have a whole crazy. range of the different oils, I'm guessing, in the, in the retail side? And yeah, there's quite a bit of different types. There's cool. lemon, there's jalapeno. Mm, there's quite I love the flavored <laughs> oils. They're great for salad dressing. Yeah. And what have you got there? That's the... The uh, sherry? So that's the, it's an aged sherry vinegar from the same company in the Okanagan. Um, sorry, we'll sear our tuna here. There we go. So you um, just, how dare you concentrate on what you're making? <laughs> <laughs> so when it's you're so searing pain, the there? tuna, you just want to be really careful you don't cook it too much. Yeah, exactly. So we cook it to about medium rare because we want it a, a little bit warm inside, but nice, nice crust on the outside. And it's all about the temperature with the tuna if you're going to cook it that way. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. and it's texture too. You want to leave it as, you know, sort of nature intended. Um, I love, love, love maple syrup. It is one of my favorite things in the world. And you always think that you've experienced it until you've had something like this, and it's a total game changer. Tell us about the maple syrup. Know? There we go. Do you want me to cut this? Are you going to trust me with that? Uh, we'll just let it rest. Okay, we're going to let it rest. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no! Put down the knife Why? and back away, please. <laughs> uh, it must be such a pleasure. I mean, obviously, you guys have your retail side and, and all your specialty items, but to be in a place like Granville Island as well uh, yeah. and, and have access to you know, the great seafood products and, and, you know, I'm looking over there and seeing all the microgreens and all the stuff. I mean, it's... Perfect place. Yeah, it's it's the best thing ever because you run out of an ingredient, you just run across the street to the yeah. market and <laughs> beg the vendors. Send the sous chef over there. And what are you guys yeah. doing for dine out? Um, so we have a $28 menu, so it's three courses. Um, our first course has a uh, choice of we have a frisée and bacon salad because we mm -hmm. love bacon. Um, Amen, sister. <laughs> Amen. Then there's also a potato leek soup uh, with some lovely. Uh, Hazelmere Farm purple potatoes fried on top, um, and then there is also a rabbit terrine. Mm. Um, so we basically coffee, oh, Kofi the rabbit um, and mold it into a terrine and serve it with some warm right. potato bread. Very nice. What are you doing in this pan? Uh, so next is sort of the uh, 
the vegetables that go with our dish. So we have some lovely fingerling potatoes. Mm -hmm. um, so we just add them into the pan and get them a little crispy there. Fiona's favorite kind of potato. I love them, they're good. I'm Irish, any potato's a good potato. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My wife's the same way, man. She is not silly every potato, any So you just form. want to get a nice color on the potatoes? Yeah, so get them started to get nice and crispy. We've cooked them ahead of time in some water, salt, rosemary and peppercorn, just to sort of right. get, get some flavors flavor. going. Nice. And what else are we gonna add? Uh, we are gonna add some butternut squash, which mm -hmm. is um, from a farm in Surrey. Um, and then we've got some, some uh, mushrooms, so there's some chanterelles in there, and then there's some uh, oyster mushrooms, mm -hmm. king oyster mushrooms as well. Nice, and are those from, from the, uh, the dry ones as well, or are those ones um, freshies that you guys have? Yeah, those ones are fresh mushrooms. Nice. This is the time of year too where you can get quite a few of them. Yeah. All right, while those. we're browning that up, I'm gonna tell you that you can take advantage of Dine Out Vancouver. Of course, it's uh, running at restaurants all over town until February 5th. Reservations are recommended because of course you're getting a great deal on the food and it does check uh, sell out. So tourismvancouver.com is where you can get all the information, and of course, when you're on Granville Island, make sure to stop in at Edible at the market where you can uh, enjoy wonderful dishes like this one here. Yeah. And uh, oh, of course, a whole lot more and a great menu for dine out. That's the chef flip right there. I know, that was the chef. I can't do that. Yeah. And what else are we finishing it off with in here? Uh, so, in here is the sherry vinegar, there's mustard, um, some fresh thyme, uh, and salt and pepper. Um, and then we'll add in a little bit of kale for color Beautiful and color. some lovely spinach. Well, and kale is so the winter seasonal. Green. People, yeah, I was gonna say people don't like to think about the winter greens, but if you do them properly, but they're properly, so good for you. Yeah, they're extreme. And you just want to let those wilt, not cook them too much. Yeah, exactly. So the the purple kale gets a nice, uh, vibrant color by it. Yeah, kind of adds some. How pretty that is. See, vegetables don't have to be boring. <laughs> Fiona, you eat with your eyes first, but I tell you, it stinks sometimes. <laughs> Oh. So we're ready to slice the tuna. Okay, too. what am I doing? Am I just uh, slicing? Just, yeah, that slice way? it across, however you like. Oh. <laughs> Are you sure, thinner, Chef? The thinner the better. Oh, the thinner the better, right when I go in for a nice thick, thick piece. <laughs> thinner the better. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Here we go. Okay, well, okay, we're going to plate this up. I was going to say, this may take a while. We will plate it up. We will show it to you because it's beautiful. Go check out yeah. Edible at the market uh, when you're cruising around Granville Island. We're going to take a break. When if we come she back, were Gordon Ramsay, she'd be yelling at me. <laughs> Let's do the spot. Feel now. We'll be back with more right after this. Don't go away. Weekly Bite is sponsored by Sunshine's Quality Assured Collision.